What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at Zhou Guan Yu's rookie season helmet. Yo, thank you, Daniel. What's happening guys, my name is Grim, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at Joe Guan Hughes 2022 season mini helmet. Now, I do feel like off the bat this helmet here is a Lewis Hamilton inspirational, inspiration helmet, I have to say, because the purple on this really matches Lewis's 2020 mini, like 2020 helmet. So it's pretty interesting to see. Let's go through a few stats of Joe with you guys right now. Obviously, Joe is car number 24. He's had 44 race starts. His first Grand Prix was a 2022 Bahrain Grand Prix, and his last entry was a 2023 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Surprisingly, he's had two fastest laps in his whole Formula One career. And a real massive memory for me and Joe would have to be when he flipped his car at Silverstone. This little uh, rundown of Joe Wen Yu. He's a Chinese driver, first Chinese driver to ever enter Formula One, which is pretty remarkable coming from China to actually do that and, you know, um, you know, making it in the sport of Formula One. I guess to be a Chinese driver, you have to be so, so exceptional, just like being an Australian racing driver and to make the top motorsport in the world formula one you have to be so exceptional that it's beyond crazy obviously you have to move from your home country and joe one spoke about that how he had to move from china to europe and then the level of karting was just next level just to compete with these younger kids and just it was um a different level compared to china and it's the same for australia you go to australia you can kart and then the next level is europe and the european level is just so far above because so many people i guess are doing it obviously karting today is a bit different i feel like you do need uh you know a lot of backing and sponsorships and you have to hope uh, a team like williams ferrari or for example mclaren can pick you up and you know bring you throughout your junior formula career joe had a bit of backing in the sense of uh formula one teams signing him then bringing him up in his junior career and then obviously getting his shot with sauber so sauber's new team is going to be kick sauber ferrari like it's just a, it's it's it, it's it's uh I don't, honestly, I don't even know what to say about that name. Kick Sauber and even like Racing Bulls. That's like, anyway. Oh, Formula One's become a bit of a joke in the sense of their names. Like, it's becoming a freaking marketing brand where they're literally chucking stickers on a car. Like it's not NASCAR, it's Formula One. Keep it classy. When you call it Visa Bulls or whatever it is at the moment, it's it's really annoying. Um, even with Kick Sauber, like I get it. Kick, it's great. But don't put Kick as the main name. But anyway, you know, put, put, put Kick on the car, it's fine. But really, and then they're going to have Kick on their helmets and... Anyway, we're going to see what helmets these guys are going to bring out in the 2024 season. I can't wait. But um, yeah, just, it's just, I don't know. I feel like they're making Formula One very, very Americanized. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, it's what it is. All right, so today we're looking at Joe's rookie season helmet. Now, I'll give you guys a look at the actual helmet here, guys. Really awesome piece. Honestly, one of my favorite helmets on the grid of the 2022 Formula One season. The side here where it goes hometown of Shanghai, that's really awesome, like the outlay of the city and the back, the Chinese flag and all the um, you know Chinese writing on the top of the helmet with all the Chinese patterns. Really absolutely cool. He's also got the fleur at the back too, as you guys can see with the uh, purple and white. Absolutely awesome piece. This is signed by Zhou himself. An interesting uh, story about Zhou when he first came to Formula One. Honestly, like he was not popular at all in Australia. There were a few Chinese fans actually, like who knew who he was and were there to actually see him. And um, but to be honest, I saw him. He was walking outside just in Melbourne, so random. And I walked past him just wearing normal clothes. I'm like, oh shit, that's Joe. And he was the first signature I got uh, during 2022. So that was pretty crazy, pretty interesting. So I, I didn't have a helmet obviously because this came out mid year 2022. But I had a photo and he signed that piece and he was pretty shocked. He was like, oh, that's cool. Like it was different for him, you know, signing autographs and I could just see in his face. And, you know, really nice guy, signs everything. But in 2023, he was more popular, more fans going up to him and he had a few friends with him and I was fortunate enough to get this signature. I feel like he changed his signature a little bit. Um, I feel like the original photo I got was a bit of a longer signature. I feel like he's made it a little bit more quicker. If I had to rate this signature out of five, I'd probably give it a two maybe. Like if you look at that, honestly, like it's not the it's not the craziest signature I've ever seen in my life, not the nicest, but um, you know, still it's cool to have Joe's signature on this helmet. I'm not gonna complain, but in the sense of signature looks, I'd have to give it a, probably a two out of five. Now, we're gonna rate this helmet. 
a helmet I really do love. Really cool rookie helmet to bring into Formula One. And I'm going to have to give it out of 10. A 8.5 out of 10, this helmet right here. I do like it. Honestly, majority of helmets that I have, I do rate them really high because I do like them. But under, under here, as you can see, the padding as well, the purple padding, I feel like makes that helmet really, really cool as well. They didn't just go for a plain padding. Unfortunately for my helmet, it did come with like a little thing on the side there some people don't like some people don't care like me some people do and they're like really uh, particular with their helmets if they say a little scuff they might say something but yeah for me i really don't care as long as i have it signed it's in my collection i'm not going to complain I don't, like i said i don't like to sell my personal collection of mini helmets and i never will and i do feel like this is a lewis hamilton inspired helmet with the purple i have to say that and plus the stuff joe does with the fashion he braided his hair during uh, the summer break you know, stuff like that. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Lewis is a real big inspiration to Joe. And obviously, coming up in junior formula, seeing Lewis win all those championships, why wouldn't he be right? It's someone you'd want to emulate winning multiple championships. So it's pretty cool to see. I do have to say, I've never had a bad experience with Joe. He's really awesome, down to earth, signs everything. He is more popular now, I'm not going to lie, like in the paddock. And, I'm gonna, and when he goes to China for the Chinese Grand Prix, it's going to be absolutely chaos because the Chinese fans really get behind this driver. They really like are really dialed in like they wear his gear they bring the flags they really love joe so when he goes to china i can't wait to see the reception he gets it's going to be really really interesting so out of both helmets between 2022 and 2023 um i do have to say his rookie season for me is the best helmet he's bringing out we'll see what he brings out in 2024 this is the only joe helmet i do have in my collection because when i when i'm not so keen on a driver in the sense of like i don't really care too much about him, like not one of my favorites because everyone's got their favorite drivers and other drivers i don't really like i guess care about um, I only get like one of their helmets, if not maybe two, it depends, but just to say I've got two of them, but for me, Joe, like I feel like I'm happy with his rookie season helmet, I don't think I'd get another one unless he brings out a really cool, awesome helmet. Yeah, that's why I've only got one Joe helmet, I don't think, I can't picture myself getting another one. Um, I feel like he would sell out his helmets really, really quick on his website, for example, with the Chinese crowd, and I'm going to tell you, like when he goes to China, like I said before, he's going to be really, really popular, I feel like there's going to be a lot of these helmets, or probably last year's helmet in that crowd trying to get signed by a lot of the Chinese fans. So it's going to be really interesting to see. So standard 2022 helmet, like it doesn't really feel too heavy. It does feel like a normal, if you have a 2022 season helmet from any driver, they don't really feel too heavy. They just feel like, I don't know, really light to be honest with you guys. It's interesting because I feel like they made the helmets a lot lighter back in the days in the early 2000s. Like I've done a Ralph Schumacher review and the helmets are really, really light compared to now. And then you have like, for example, Max's 2018 helmet, that's super heavy. Or some of the Ricardo helmets are really, really heavy and they feel really good quality. Um, but I feel like Bill pumped out these helmets in 2022. Yeah, like don't get me wrong, they're really good quality in the sense of like, you know, the design and you know, there's nothing really wrong with it besides that little scuff on the bottom or that little um, thing that's coming out. But that's just, I guess, a stitching defect on, like, you know, from the actual supplier, like Bell, the people that make them. And I'm pretty sure they get made in Bahrain, but I could be wrong, but I feel like, that. I feel like I've seen that been, they get made in Bahrain, these mini helmets. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this 2022 Joe Wan Hughes mini helmet review. If you guys did like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow the links down below, Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit, let's hit a K, like, hopefully before, like, mid-year or something. Um, and then obviously I want to do a few more videos coming up. Obviously we're going to the Australian Grand Prix. So, you know, boom, got to do a video preparing. You know, go through with you guys. Maybe not getting signatures. We'll see what happens with that. I can show you guys who I go and keep his updated. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys for the support. Check out my last couple of videos. I've done a whole Max Verstappen, how good he was during the 2020 three formula one season and i've done a daniel ricardo red bull mini helmet review so check that out as well he's red bull 2018 mini helmet really rare really cool piece so check that out if you click the um, channel down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next formula one video thank you